What's going on everybody? It's Monday. Hopefully everyone's having a great start to the week. I just wanted to update you guys on the new league that's starting this coming Friday, season number 3. I'm currently sending out messages and invites to the people that message me on YouTube. We only have a few limited spots available left. But the thing is, I have a waiting list, don't worry about it. So if you're not able to join in the beginning for the draft, usually after one or two weeks within the league, there's a few people that leave because like I mentioned in previous videos, they can't handle losing. They can't, uh, they just go inactive. Some people just join to join and never play. Some people join just to draft the team and then don't do anything. <laughs> well, don't worry, when people are inactive, when they don't play, when they quit, or if anything happens, I'll be messaging you as soon as possible because a lot of people that are currently in the league are actually from YouTube and I always message when I can and just make sure to check your YouTube notifications, your PlayStation messages or when I send you a friend request because the thing on PlayStation 5 is that you can't send a message without being friends so always check your friend requests just in case I sent you one and usually when I do send a friend request I always message you on YouTube as well that I sent you a, a PlayStation invite or PlayStation <laughs> friend request. And then from there, I could invite you to the Discord because we do have a Discord chat. That's where everything in the league is popping, where we have the drafting talks, all the trades, all the games, all the exciting stuff going on in the league. But the first step, like I said, is just to make it first. And it's a great opportunity, I'm, tr I'm telling you guys, it's a great opportunity because there's not many leagues on the PS5. And if there is, there's some leagues that are open actually on PS5. But they're not... I don't want to bash any other leagues, but some members in our league were in previous leagues and they really enjoyed this one much better. Because everyone is really mature about it, everyone plays the games, everyone... Everyone is friendly, you know? <laughs> um, and it's fantasy as well, because a lot of other leagues are not fantasy, so there's a lot of unbalanced teams. For example, if you got the New Jersey Nets going up against, let's say, a very bad team, you know, it's unfair. It's an unfair matchup. But when you do fantasy draft like our league, everyone has a balanced team. You can draft your own team, your own players, to your own playstyle. So that's the great thing about it, man. Fantasy is the best way to make a league because... You get to pick your own team, build your team from the scratch. It's really amazing. And even if you don't like your players, it's easy to trade because you have a lot of talent on your team. So you could just message it up. Oh my god, I just choked there. <laughs> I didn't choke, but I messaged. Eh, I messed up my word. You could message other owners, you know, and let them know what's in the trade block and get a deal pop in because there's always a lot of trades during the season. Because with this fantasy draft, everyone has equal amounts of talent. Obviously, pick number 1 to 10 has more talent than the... Um, than the let's say pick 20 to 30 because you know pick 1 to 10 you get a 95 overall there's yeah uh so it's really hard to trade for those guys but it's just the luck of the draft man if you get a top pick then you're pretty much set and what's sad is that a lot of people that joined this league they did get a top pick like a top 10 pick in previous leagues and then they ended up quitting after one or two games i'm like wow because a lot of people are dying to get that top 10 pick a lot of loyal members they never get the top 10 pick but then you have some Someone that just joined recently that gets a top 10 pick and then he ends up quitting the league. <laughs> and then, you know, it's, it's crazy. Because when you get a top 10 pick, it makes you, I don't know, makes you feel good about your team, man. You get a top start. Everyone wants to get the best players in the game. But even though you don't get the best players, you still find a way to build a good squad with the late picks. Because you still get back-to-back -back picks. So it's pretty balanced, like I mentioned. So that's what I wanted to give you guys is that little update for season 3 is that we are drafting this coming Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be sending out messages and invites or adding players to the waiting list. We only have a few spots left. I don't even know how many because there's a lot of players joining from other sides of our league because they're inviting their own friends as well. So the league is filling up extremely fit quickly. And I think there's only a couple of spots left. So like I mentioned, I'll be updating everybody. I'll be messaging you guys individually. I'll be adding you on the waiting list. And one other thing I wanted to mention is that for Season 3, my team, the Knicks, they got taken. My other team, the Raptors, they got taken. And the Nets got taken. And the Heat got taken. So all the Eastern teams that I like are taken. So there's a few open teams that I'm thinking about taking. Just let me know which one I should take. There's the Memphis Grizzlies. There's the Utah Jazz. There's the Denver Nuggets. There's the Washington Wizards. 
and there's also the Houston Rockets. So all those teams I'm thinking of taking for Season 3. Just let me know in the comments which team do you want to see me using for Season 3. And whichever team has the most votes is what I will pick. <laughs> you know, I want to pick a team that you guys want to see. Because I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing the New York Knicks. I've been using them for two seasons. So for Season 3, we're going to have a fresh start. Should I go to the Western Conference? Should I stay in the Eastern Conference? Um... So yeah man, the teams like I mentioned that I'm thinking of taking that are available because these are the only open teams left. The spots are piling up pretty quickly. So there's the Hawks, there's the Wizards in the East, there's the Cleveland Cavaliers, but I don't really like the Cavs, so... There's the Hawks, there's the Wizards, and in the West there's the Jazz, Grizzlies, Houston Rockets, and Denver Nuggets. So between those six teams, I'm not sure which one I should take for Season 3. Just let me know in the comments section which team you guys want me to use. And one last thing I wanted to mention is I didn't really talk about this gameplay, but it was pretty self-explanatory. It was a great game at the beginning, but then Doncic took over, and then we were able to blow this game open. Doncic to Curry in the quarter. Bang! That's a nice shot. So this game is about to wind down pretty soon. I just wanted to give you that quick update for season number 3. And also my birthday weekend was really... You know, I really appreciate all the love you guys gave me on my videos for the weekend that I uploaded. A lot of you guys gave me birthday greetings and I truly appreciate it. I replied to every one of you guys. It truly means a lot, man. When it's, whenever it's your birthday week, birthday weekend, birthday month, it's always, you always feel special. So thank you so much for the support. And like I mentioned, just keep dropping them comments and them likes. I always respond. I always appreciate the feedback. It's truly appreciated, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.